shift in cost curve. Positions of a firm's cost curve depends on two factors, technology and prices of factors of production. Now, technological changes influences both the productivity and cost curves. An increase in productivity shifts the average marginal cost curve, uh, the average and marginal product curves upward and the average and marginal cost curves downward. And if technology brings more capital and less labor into use, uh, fixed costs will increase and variable costs decrease because labor, we could, uh, we could add more people and that's, that will increase our costs. But if we add technology, we can't really fire m a machine. So our fixed costs increase. So in such cases, uh, the average total cost curve increases at low output levels and decrease at high output levels. That's the case when we have fixed cost machines and variable cost humans. And as I said again, you can't fire machines which are fixed costs, and you can, but you can fire humans which are variable costs. And uh, this is representative of the idea of diminishing marginal returns. Now, the price of factors of production. An increase in the price of a factor of production increases uh, costs and shifts the cost curves. An increase in uh, long costs or an increase in fixed costs shifts the total costs and average total cost curves upward, but it does not shift the marginal cost curve. And an increase in variable costs shifts the total cost curve and uh, the average total cost curve and the MC curve upward. And that's all I want to talk about for uh, short run costs. Now we're finally onto the section of long run costs. Now, in the long run, all outputs are variable and all costs are variable. Because we're thinking about, we're thinking on the time span of about like years. And in years, we can do anything. We can move buildings, we can sell a building and move all our workers to another building. And that's what we mean by talking about long run costs. Now produ the production function. The behavior of long run costs depends upon the firm's uh, production function. Now the production function is the relationship between the maximum output attainable and quantity of both capital and labor uh, that we have. Now as pl our plant size increases, the output for a given quantity of labor also increases. So when the quantity of labor increases, the diminishing returns occur for each plant. And uh, that's what we have here. You could see that when we have uh, one plant uh, and uh, well, Actually, I have no idea what the hell is going on here, so I'm just going to stop this video here, take a look at what's going on here, because I made this script a long time ago, and then we'll come back to it. So please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later after I figure out what the, what the heck I was doing on here. It's t about midnight, and I worked 12 hours, and I'm pooped out of my mind.